Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our flex field tuning we're going to be doing with our Megascore 3 firmware. So in a previous video, when we took a look at flex field, we were working with the Megascore 2 and Microscore firmware build. I found it was really simplistic to do our flex field tuning. We had just two values to program for our fuel and our spark timing compensation when we had our ethanol compensation or ethanol percentage moving up from 0 to 100%. Now when we move into the Megascore 3, we find we have our blend table feature. That's going to allow us to use two different tables to characterize both a low point or the ethanol being from zero to 10% and a high point where the ethanol's up to maybe 90 to 100%. And then we're gonna have a blend between these two tables. So we're gonna have this available for our fuel, for spark, for our cranking fuel, as well as our boost control. We're gonna be taking a look at how this works and how to implement it correctly so we can work with this in our Megasquirt 3 firmware build. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our Megasquirt 3 firmware build and our flex field tuning feature with the blend ratio tables. This is going to be a completely different approach and strategy than what we looked at when we covered flex field tuning for the Microsquirt and the Megasquirt 2 firmware build. So let's jump in here to fuel settings and start talking about everything. So under fuel settings, we're going to move down here to fuel sensor settings flex. And this is going to be where we do all of our programming for the flex fuel sensor that we're using. Now generally it's going to be a continental sensor, so most of the values are going to be predefined in our tables here, 